Um, hello, hi, it is me, it is I, Sister Leona, aka the world's greatest teacher, and I'd like to welcome you to the first ever feminist weather report, okay? Okay, so the feminist weather report is basically A, feminist, okay, and B, it's it's like the weather, okay, so basically it's unpredictable, sometimes it'll be thunder and lightning, I mean, I don't know, it's feminist, so I, like right now, it's much like Mother Earth, okay, it's called climate change, alright, a lot of tornadoes and shit. Basically what I'm saying is the feminist weather report is whatever I say it is, whenever I say it is, okay? And today it is about Spencer Tunick. So Spencer Tunick is a photographer, artist, who is famous for taking pictures of the nude body. He stages, you know, very large scale, very scenic photograph. He's an activist and he does a lot of work for climate change all over the world. He deals a lot with censorship. He's been arrested multiple times for challenging an artist's right to display their work. And recently he's staged a protest outside the Instagram Facebook offices in New York City. This artwork was created in collaboration with the National Coalition Against Censorship. So basically, Spencer Tunick was helping to launch their campaign called hashtag we the nipple and here's their manifesto and you know just reading it you know you can see what they're calling for is you know for facebook and instagram to stop censoring artwork okay so, you know pornography is one thing but art is another thing and we need to stop censoring art because this is hurting artists and instagram is a platform where artists share their work etc etc and all of this sounds really good i'm into it it's great and everything except that you know what ends up happening is it becomes a protest about the censorship of women's nipples, okay? And this is a very different issue than just the general censorship of art because the censorship of women's nipples, that's about the sexualization of women's bodies. That's a very specific kind of censorship. Okay, so basically there's two reasons why I really feel that Spencer Tunick should not have been the artist that was, you know, selected to launch this campaign. Okay, the first reason is that since this is about the sexualization of women's bodies, um, one, you know, Spencer Tunick has never experienced the sexualization of women's bodies, okay? I mean, that is just like an actual fact. And for number two, you know, the sexualization of women's bodies, like, it's not just about the erasure, you know, from Instagram and Facebook. I mean, the sexualization of women's bodies also leads to the erasure of women in the art world. And the thing that Instagram and Facebook is teaching us about the sexualization of women's bodies is that once a woman gets sexualized, she gets erased, okay? And the thing is, is that women are sexualized every single day in their lives. And thus, we see the erasure of women in the art world, for example. We're also seeing the erasure of women from the film world, okay? We're also seeing the erasure of women in photography. I mean, look at the statistics. I mean, why do you think this erasure is here? Because women are just not good artists? No, it's because it's really hard to see somebody when they've been sexualized. That's what Instagram and Facebook is teaching us. And the problem is, is that women's bodies are being sexualized every single day of their lives. It's just basically, you can't see somebody that isn't there. And the problem is, is women's bodies have been sexualized since the day they were born. So on some level, they're not there. And, you know, especially given the society that we're living in where men in this patriarchy are conditioned to sexualize women all the time, like, in a way, in a big way, men aren't really seeing women at all. And, you know, it, if we, we see that they're the ones who are in charge of these industries, it's like, well, they're not seeing women because they can't see women because women aren't supposed to be seen because women are sex. I mean, not only is it hard to care about somebody you can't see, you know, because they've been sexualized before your very eyes and you're not even seeing a full person before you, but it's also really difficult to hire them, you know what I mean? It's hard to sponsor them, it's hard to recognize their art, I mean. And, you know, I know probably Spencer Tunick doesn't want to hear that or any male artist doesn't want to hear the fact that, you know, they've benefited from these statistics, but they have. I mean, it's just a simple fact. Especially because there are so many great women women artists who could have done this moment, you know, in time, who could have launched this campaign. Oh, no, wait, actually, the plot thickens, okay, because there was a woman involved in the creation of this work, okay, her name is Nicole Hebron, and she is the woman who's, it's her concept, the idea of putting a male nipple over a female nipple as a way of challenging Instagram and Facebook's um, censorship. Okay, this is her art, her concept, 
her idea, this picture that we're seeing of, you know, women covering their breasts with male nipples, this is Nicole Hebron's art, okay? But observe how um, she's not mentioned anywhere, okay? So um, is she mentioned in the Artnet article? No. Is she mentioned in any of these articles? No. She's not mentioned anywhere. Um, talk about erasure, okay? I mean, do I need to say more at this point? Okay, I mean, I will just because I like saying more and I just want to like, you know, break it down. Okay, so a white male artist, okay, did an art piece about the sexualization of women's bodies, something he's never experienced. He used the concept and the art of a female artist, and she gets no mention whatsoever in any of the publications about this. I mean, Nicole Hebron's name should be right next to Spencer Tunick's name, and you can see that it's not. Um, wait, let me think about what else. Hold on, there must be something else that's really fucked up here. And honestly, I can't believe some of the comments I've been getting on Instagram. People were like, oh, you know, you need to be nice to Spencer. You should give constructive criticism. I'm like, do I have time for this? No. Well, you know, if you want to start, you know, a movement, why don't you do it? I'm like, first of all, you're on my page writing me and like, can you not see that I'm actually doing that very thing? So, um, hello, hi. You know, you're just burning bridges with like Spencer Tunic and this organization that's against censorship. I'm like, when were they ever my friends? Okay. Where were they? Uh, a year and a half ago when Radical Matriarchy was in the streets doing performance talking about the censorship of the hashtag woman. Basically just the entire idea concept of woman was sexualized and erased from Instagram. I don't remember them getting involved in this and I don't remember anybody coming up to me at that point even though I was fucking in the streets streaming my fucking head off ever wanting to talk about this. And now that they do want to talk about it, you know, look who they get to talk about it. A white male artist, you know, anyway. I'm done, okay, so I just wanna end this um, think piece, okay, with um, some some video and images of Radical Matriarchy's protests on Facebook and Instagram. We did this when the hashtag woman was um, censored and erased from all of Instagram. So you would scroll through, you would try to search woman and there'd be no posts available to see and there would be a little message there saying that, you know, because of sexual content, you know, millions of posts have been erased from Instagram. So we took to the streets, we passed out flyers, um, we were dancing, we were making the fucking noise, okay? So what you see here is that I'm drawing a series of ones and zeros. So basically, you know, this is kind of like a manifesto to Facebook, you know, a letter to Facebook, speaking in the language that I hope they understand because it's really algorithms, you know, through which women are sexualized and censored on Instagram. So using algorithm speech, you know, I'm responding and basically I'm just writing fuck you over and over again, okay? So the runway is where we staged all the performance. We had a bunch of performance artists come out, you know, to support and, you know, make some noise with us. And we also had some fashion shows. So we showed the work of four fashion designers on these runways as well. We also took the portraits of women artists and we turned them into protest signs to kind of like challenge the idea that women's bodies are just sex. Um, and here she is. She's letting people know, okay, she wants you to know that she's not about sex. Actually, she's just walking around. Yes, she has a body, okay, she has a body, but just because she has a body doesn't mean she is sex. Hey, they love to ask me, Brie Benz, where you been? Hey, huh, mind your business, boy, I'm working third eye open. I've been flirting with the money, hit my lineup ever since. Hey, huh, bro, boy, what you earn it, burn it, burn it, bitch, I bang, 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 bang. What you expected, bitch, I'm rapping Philly. Gang, 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 gang. Bro, boy, what you earn it? Hey, huh? I'm a doozy, pull up with the Uzi. He looking stupid cause a gang pussy. Little nigga, this ain't Call of Duty. Who the star shoot like a movie? Where's some money you late? Ain't no debate. You got it, the nigga, we straight. I got the sauce, make a late. Your niggas that hate. You fishing my niggas. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more of this content get put out in the world, please support our Patreon. Every single dollar we receive goes towards making this video work, doing the actions in the streets, flyers. We're doing this every single second, every single day of our lives. $3 a month, $5 a month, $20 a month, $200 a month, all of it goes towards supporting these actions, goes to supporting um, this video work. We're going all over the country with this message and we really need your support. So please check out our Patreon. Thank you. Bang, bang, I ain't fucking with that fake shit. That's pussy nigga talk so I don't say shit. No conversation. Trapping, running up the block, bitch, I'm impatient. I'm a ice race Got me looking like I'm Asian. They love to ask me great bands where you been, hey, huh? My old business boy, I'm working, fed I open. I've been flirting with the money, hit my lineup ever since, ayy.